this is there's still a lot of alpha version going on here but I think it's important that we do a quick little video to show you that you don't need to spend 5,000 bucks on lights if you look at the growth in there this little yakaranda and what are those? Uh, this is black pearl chilies that's a rocotillo chili those are two Sutherland yes right. this is rooibos and we had to take out the tomato plant because it was so big it took over this whole shelf and at the bottom these are what they call the ex expert lights that you order that's labeled for hydroponics but the lights at the top are those round ceiling lights that they put into showers and bathrooms so these are ip65 easy to wire up using these little plugs and i think they were 80 or 90 bucks each 6500 kelvin these work well you can't argue with the green leaves they're smiling we found these i don't even know what brand this is bonus home <laughs> they're tiny they look like this according to the box they're 900 lumens that's extreme intensity very bright they're only 10 watts and they're also 6500 kelvin color temperature so i'm going to see if we can find a way to attach them to the top of the shelf here one on each side and we will have plenty of light to do another hydroponic shelf this is green globe artichoke in a kratky bucket so we germinate the stuff in outside little containers very easy you put your seedling in there in clay pellets these things are little clay pellets but people use cocoa coir and, and many things they even use gravel if you really want to do you can use gravel or anything it just needs to stabilize the plant and not have organic not really is organic matter that's it must not decompose yeah. the roots are then you fill this with your nutrient solution to the point where it just touches the roots then as your roots grow the transpiration through the leaves obviously uses up your your liquids it drops the roots chase the water level the roots go down that exposes them to both nutrient liquid at the bottom and a layer of air which aerates them prevents root rot it's going to be simple enough if you don't know how earth life and neutral should be connected to plugs and stuff maybe just get someone to help you with that be safe i've got one millimeter three core here which is good enough for a 10 watt light Usually these lights don't have earths, but this one does have an earth and I think it's because it's got a metal casing, so mm -hmm. don't skip that, just hook it up. I'm gonna hook up the earth using using heat shrink tubing to just insulate it and then over that we'll have proper insulation tape. For now I've got this light fixed to the corner with uh, wire brackets that I made myself because if we do fix the light under the shelf here, the cooling fins on these things will not cool so that's just something to consider make sure you get some cooling on they weren't very expensive 55 or 60 bucks each so we'll see if they're really 900 lumens and that's what it looks like when you've used each ring tubing on all of them and it's online so that is pretty simple here's the one light and there's the other light pretty easy pretty cheap probably 100 and 20 rand total for the two it's definitely not 900 lumens as the box says not surprised but that is definitely a lot of light if you compare the intensity on the camera to the ones next door cheap bathroom lights that works as you can see and these ones will have to be proven so there you go doesn't have to be expensive see you next time So this is one of Alexia's ways of germinating using, let's call it upcycling, these old food containers. The bottom is flipped upside down. There's a little hole in one part of it, but basically what you need to do is you'll see there, there's a wick coming through so that you can have the water at the bottom and a single wick just keeping moist cotton at the top, which uh, is usually sufficient for the germination of seeds. And because cotton is organic, you can just remove that whole thing and just transplant it easily like that.